I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from my student Anna. I hope many of you will also benefit from this solution. We will review concepts learned in calculus. The question here is determine values for a, b, c and d that guarantees the function f of x equals to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d has a relative maximum at minus 2, 3 and relative minimum at 1, 0. Now, we need to find four parameters, four unknowns. We need four equations. Two of them will get directly from the points given and the other two will get from the first derivative, right? Since we know at one point we have maximum, at the other we have minimum. So let's write down the equations straight away using these points. So when I say f of minus 2, basically substitute x as minus 2. So you get 8a minus 8a, right? Minus 8a. Minus 2 square is positive. So you get 4b minus 2c plus d and this value f of minus 2 is 3 so it's equals to 3 correct I'll call this as my equation number 1 similarly let's get the second equation from the condition f of 1 is 0 so at f of 1 if I substitute 1 here I get a plus b plus c plus d equals to 0. So these are my two equations. We can actually simplify these equations also. See what happens if I do 1 minus 2. Let's do it. So if I do equation 1 minus equation 2, we can actually eliminate d and get the equation minus 9a plus 3b minus 3c equals to 3. Now we can divide by 3. So we get we get minus 3a plus b minus c equals to 1. Is it okay? So I'll call this as my equation number 3. Now let's look into the derivative of the function f dash x. So what is f dash x equals to? 3 ax square plus 2 bx plus c. Now we know that there is a maximum and there is a minimum. That means the derivative should be equal to 0, right? So those are our critical numbers. So substituting that critical number and one of these points, let us say minus 2, 3 first. So we know at minus 2, we have maximum, right? That means this should be 0. So if I substitute minus 2, minus 2 square is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So we're cutting down on some steps. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4b plus c. And this derivative should be equal to 0 since it's a critical number, right? So, so this is critical number. x equals to minus 2 and also at 1, correct? So we get one more equation, right? Uh, now, if I substitute 1, then also that derivative should be equal to 0. Substituting 1, we get 3a plus 2b plus c equals to 0. Now we have uh, these three equations. So equation number 3 is 3a plus b minus c. Here we have 3a plus 2b plus c, right? So so we could actually use equation 3 and this equation. So this is equation 4, this is 5. 
so now if I combine these two equations look here minus 3a 3a cancel out minus c cancel out we are left with b right so so the step now is going to be that I'm going to add equation 3 with equation 5 you know you have to carefully work with these simultaneous equations so when you add these two right what do we get we get 3b right we get 3b equals to 1 plus 0 as 1 and that gives you b as 1 over 3 now once we know one of these values then we can get all the others i would actually like you to pause the video at this stage and find the other va values okay so we know b let me highlight this b equals to 1 over 3 now if i do equation 4 and 5 i can get rid of c and then we can find what a is since we know what b is perfect so let's do equation 4 take away equation 5 So 4 take away 5, 12 take away 3 is 9, so we get 9a minus 4 minus 2 means minus 6b, c's cancel out equals to 0. So we can find what a is, right? So we get 9a equals to 6b and a equals to 6 over 9 times b and b is one third, right? So b is 1 over 3. So b is 1 over 3, so that gives us, uh, it goes 2 times, right? So a is 2 over 9, so we get a equals to 2 over 9. a is 2 over 9, let's highlight this. Now we know what a is, so we can find c and then d. Good equation to pick for c is which one? maybe this one right okay so we'll take this equation to find c so we'll sub in equation 3 both a and b is it okay so we'll substitute and find what c is so let's take c on this side so we know c is equal to taking one on that side right so we have b here minus 3a minus 1 so which is b is 1 over 3 minus 3 times 2 over 9 minus 1 right so that gives you 2 over 3 so common denominator is 3 so we have 1 minus 2 minus 3 so the value of c is uh, minus 4 over 3 right 5 right minus 4 over 3 so we get c as minus 4 over 3 now we can find what d is so we'll substitute this in equation 2 right now sub in equation 2 so d is equal to minus a minus b minus c right so minus a minus b minus c which is minus a is minus 2 over 9 minus of b which is minus 1 over 3 minus of c which becomes positive 4 over 3 correct so d is common denominator of uh, 9 will give us minus 2 minus 3 plus 3 times 4 12 so that is uh, 10 minus this which is 7 right 7 over 9 so we get d as 7 over 9 perfect so the values of a b c d are known to us we can write down the function now so the function f of x is a 2 over 9 x cubed plus b which is 1 over 3 x squared c which is minus 4 over 3 x 
and d which is 7 over 9. So that becomes the function and the values are highlighted. So we have, let me write down here, a is equal to 2 over 9, c is equal to minus 4 over 3, and d is equal to 7 over 9. So that is how we can find all the values for the given function. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Have a good look at it. Now sometimes simultaneous equations can be very tricky, but if you look at it carefully and select the right ones, you could actually do it in fewer steps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Share the videos. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and all the best for your exams.